All right, so in terms of collecting the data, it's going to be fairly simple. You're going to take a ramp like this, you're going to take a C clamp and clamp that down to the table, you're going to hold a marble up here, you're going to let it roll down, it's going to turn into a projectile. In this lab, the only thing we're worrying about is the motion from when it leaves this ramp to when it hits the ground. The ramp motion, not part of the story. Okay? Don't care about the ramp. All that's doing is converting potential energy into kinetic energy. So we're looking at it at that point where it leaves that ramp and turns into a projectile. So what you're going to do, here's going to be your setup, boom. The only data that you're going to need is the height, okay? So you're going to measure from the ramp down to the ground. There's your height. Now, getting the range is a little, it's a little sketchy. So what you want to do is roll that down and get an idea of where it's going to land, okay? Get an estimate. Then what you want to do is take a piece of paper and put that down, and then you want to take a piece of carbon paper, diamond side up, okay? And put that down, and then the cool thing about carbon paper is that when it lands and it strikes, it'll transfer a mark onto that paper. So this is why if you look at email, let me give you a quick history lesson. If you do email, you have the CC. CC stands for carbon copy. The origins of that used to be back in the Stone Ages when we used manual typewriters and there wasn't laser printers or storage or anything like that in email. Let's say that Luke needed me to write him a letter of reference. Cool. So what I would do is I would take my, my piece of paper that I'm going to type on. Then I'd put a piece of carbon paper and then I'd put a second piece of paper behind it like this. Okay, so this would be my setup. My original piece of carbon paper, paper behind that. So when you were using manual typewriters, it was a physical imprintation of that letter. So if I type the words Luke, okay, boom. So it would be L-U-K-E. Okay, that would physically strike the paper as soon as there was no time delay, there was no cut and paste, there was no delete. Okay, no, if I type Luke, I type Luke. Boom, there was no, it wasn't, I'll, I'll print it out later. No, boom, that was it. So when that would strike the L, that would transfer that L through the carbon paper to the second page. So what I would do is that at the bottom, when I would get done, the, the style was that I would put CC, carbon copy, and then I would put Luke. So Luke would have the original, he would, that's what he would mail in, and then he would have a carbon copy that I would give him to keep for his records. So that's where the CC comes from. So, and if I, and I could do a third one. I could put a third one, like if I wanted to keep one. So I would have, at the bottom, I'd, see, I'd say CC, Luke Etheridge, meaning that the people reading it would know that Luke has a copy, and that I'd put CC, Stan Burkamp, so that they would know that I would have a copy of that letter as well. Okay? So that's where CC came from. So they kept that nomenclature when they started doing emails. They said, oh, CC someone, that stands for carbon copy, because back in the dark ages, that's where that came from. So, here's all the data that you need. The height, and then the horizontal distance. That's it. So, obviously you all have been my students long enough. Why do I need this big blank space over here? Yeah, Show your calculations. Okay? All right? Oh, I know, that's a radical concept. Okay? Show your calculations here, because everybody's going to have a different marble, different height, things like that. Then you got a bunch of questions to answer here. When you get to six and seven, you're gonna draw a graph. You have one situation where a marble is gonna go flying out like this, and the other situations, you're gonna drop it straight down. You're gonna have two graphs, the one that's rolled and the one that's dropped. Make sure I know which one is which. Label I'm doing in different colors, do a solid line, do a dashed line, I don't care. But keep in mind, this is after it has left the ramp. This is not while it's rolling, okay? This is after it has turned into a projectile. 
On the back side, you got a car traveling at 112 kilometers per hour, drives off a cliff 15.8 kilometers high. There's a whole bunch of stuff you need to do with that. Then I'm going to ask you, I'm going to double the horizontal velocity. I want to know what's going to happen to the time, the range, and your VY. Whatever you do, just don't say, oh, it's going to change or it's going to be different. So help me. I would just flip out. So there's two ways you can answer it. You can either say it's going to double, triple, increase by the square root of 5, whatever. Okay? Or you can do smash mouth physics and just recalculate it. Then we're going to go back to the original setting, and then we're going to double the height. Again, you could either do smash mouth physics, recalculate the values, or just say it's going to increase by the square root of pi or whatever you think is going to happen. Okay? All right, I'm done. You're on your own.